Hello everyone, uh, today we stay on the dried bottom of the Aral Sea. So uh, today we're going to talk about the saxel plantations on dried bottom, which should reduce the amount of uh, transportation of sediments, of soil, of uh, sand and salt from the dried bottom uh, to other surrounding areas. So uh, as a proof of my words, so you can see the remaining biomaterial uh, from the dried bottom. So you can see these particles, actually, which says that in the past it was the sea. So let's go inside. So you can see these uh, lines where saxol were planted. And actually, uh, you can also see the difference uh, between the vegetation uh, within the uh, plantations and outside of it. Since uh, it is, uh, I, can, I can say that you can see some grass and other plantings here, which is a good uh, sign of that, uh, particularly in here, like in his place, and in this place, uh, the uh, speed uh, of wind is reduced and other processes are uh, not so accelerated like outside of this place. You can see uh, a different uh, saxa wool of different sizes and different aids. So, um, of course, the survival uh, of these uh, plants is not so high, but uh, of course, it also demands some uh, water uh, for to be uh, irrigated. So you can see even some channels which should uh, give them water. But unfortunately, uh, uh, these years uh, are years of drought and of course the precipitation here is not so high. So. Uh, we can just uh, walk around and see uh, how it grows. Could you please record this plant, for example? So, you can also see uh, that the positive effect of these plants is so high that it also, uh, you can see these holes which are the home for animals here. So, you can see the, their activities here. So, it also does positive effect for biosphere here and doing kind of house or homes for local animals. As a result of win wind erosion, the processes of desertification of adjacent territories occur, areas of mobile sands are formed and grow. Salinization of significant areas of farmlands occurs uh, through the wind removal of sand and salt from surrounding areas and drained bottom. You can imagine movement of the sand and its occupation of village. Main reason which causes soil degradation and sand movements uh, in the surrounding areas of local villages is overgrazing. Protective plantations have a positive effect on the ecological state of the environment. Firstly, they restrain the movement of sands, reduce the blowing of salt and dust from the drained seabed and surrounding deserts. Studies by Uzbek scientists have shown that in a one-year-old Saksaul Cherkes, 
plantation, the wind speed decreased by 20.5% and in a two-year-old plantation by 34.6% and when the plantation reached seven years of age, the wind speed can drop to zero. Accordingly, the greatest movement of sand and the removal of chemical elements occurs on the unforested dune and the least in the protective uh, afforestation. Saxa will improve the microclimate of the area and helps to reduce the level of greenhouse gases. For example, one hectare of Saxa wool forests at the age of 13 absorbs uh, 5 tons of carbon and at the same time releases uh, around 3 0.8 tons of oxygen. Also, vegetation reduces the intensity of deflation. Root systems holding the sand together firmly hold the plants in the soil and increase its resistance to the wind.